I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Amen. Amen. Being omnipotent does not mean that do, one can do absolutely anything. God cannot create a six-sided triangle or write a four-letter word with five letters in it. These things are impossible because they're nonsensical. But some self-contradictions are more subtle than this. A classic one would be related to love. Love potions have always been a favorite theme in literature. The young lady gives the handsome young man a magic drink to make him fall madly in love with her. Even if the magic drink worked and the young man began to behave as if he were in love with the young lady, that would not be love, because love is an act of free will. To force a person's will is to deprive that person of the ability to love. The young lady would always have the doubt, does he love me, be does he really love me, or is it the effects of the drink? She would long to know, but she wouldn't dare to find out. There are things that God cannot do, because God could not do them and still be God. Some are very obvious. God cannot will evil or do evil. God cannot hate. When I have misplaced my car keys and I'm in a hurry to find them, I search for them where I think I might have left them. I do know that God is omnipotent, but all the same, I don't waste time looking for my keys in places where I know I haven't been, just in case God miraculously transported them there. In terms of omnipotence, God could actually do trivial and pointless miracles, but he cannot actually do them and still be God. If I pray to be cured of a sinful habit, such as addiction to drink or drugs, I know that God will answer my prayer in some way, because answering prayers is what God does but I also know that he will not answer it by just flicking a switch in somewhere in my head and making me all right in an instant. That would make me an object, not a subject. And I know from salvation history that God's greatest care is to avoid violating the freedom and the integrity of his creatures. Our relationship with God is deep and at the bottom of everything that God does there is not only love, but there is also reason. After all, God the Father can't love us any more than he loves God the Son. But when the incarnate Son walked on this earth, look at what he did for him and what he did not do. Could God have cancelled the crucifixion and still be God? If we think of God as creator, do we need to repeat maker of heaven and earth? We look at that in the next talk.